Hey, you guys, it's Winning Wednesday. Let's go. All right, you guys, so we're Winning Wednesday. We went and um, actually went to, to get lunch. So I got Taco Bell, Trey got Bojangles. He's ate his Bojangles. So let's see what's in this bag, you guys. So uh, I got the hard shell taco, two of them. I don't think I'm gonna even eat both of them. Um, and then I have some nachos and cheese. That go another hard shell. And then I wanted to try their. Um, it's called a Chipotle um katina uh crispy chicken taco and i'm gonna show you all that and i gotta have my hot sauce y'all i love hot sauce sometimes i even get fire sauce it is bomb like for real but what i want to do is um well winning wednesday y'all already know i want to speak positivity i want to encourage you i want you i want to share some information that i have researched so a lot of this, I will, you know, speak from my heart and because I want to mo motivate you, but some of this I did research, okay? Um, so, I want to show y'all this uh, Katina Chipotle sauce. It don't look all that. Yeah, of course, it ain't going to look as fresh like um, they have it at Taco Bell, but it has Chipotle. The chicken is right here. Lettuce, cheese, tomatoes. And I'm gonna go ahead and try it in front of you. Let me get a napkin. Talk about you know better. You didn't even put a napkin in my own. Didn't even put a napkin in my bag. I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna take my first bite, and then we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna tell you my topic for today. So it is a soft shell. It is good. Mm -hmm. It has a kick to it, you guys. I'm a diet Mountain Dew. If you watched me before, you know I like diet. Mm -hmm. So I have my diet Mountain Dew. It's so good. I'm going to open my cheese. Like I said, it's going to be like a mukbang, 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 same difference. Um, kind of um, talk with me. Okay. So, the title is Learn Yourself. Learn Yourself. So many times, including me, and I, and to me, this is so meaningful for me because, you know, I have taught all my life, all my life. And now I'm getting to the age where I do like teaching, but it's other things that, you know, I want to grow. And with teaching, you can, you can grow, you can be an assistant principal or a principal. But I don't want to be either of those. I don't want to be an assistant principal. I thought I did, and I and I was um, dwindling on it. And I was like, I don't think I want to be assistant principal. And you know, it may change. But I am a see. I'm in a season now where I want to see growth. I want to grow. I, I know I'm smart. I, I know I can do it. And yes, again, financially, I want to see financial growth. So, um. And I just want, I'm just trying to now take time to learn myself. And that's why I want to come to you today. And we want to talk about um, some tips that I've researched to help you learn yourself, you guys. So with that being said, the first pointer is taking risks. With anything, you got to take risks. So let's say you want to grow yourself. For me to grow myself, I would have to take risks to actually leave teaching um, to try something else or another career or another job, right? So, um, that's what you're going to have to do. You have to take risks. You have to step outside of yourself. You're going to have to talk to yourself, say, I can do it. I know I can do it. Don't do, don't 
have self-doubt, okay? Don't have self-doubt. I know, just a second, guys. Here you go, Lord. So don't have self-doubt. You can do it. Uh, a lot of times we let fear hold us back, and that's exactly what it'll do. It'll hold you back. If you never take that risk, you're never going to know your full potential. And I'm just being honest with you. Uh, another thing, I'm going to bite my, my own taco, y'all. Sorry. Um, ask yourself deep and meaningful questions. A lot of times we're so busy, 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 doing for everybody else, doing for everybody else, running here, running there. We have all these tasks and duties on these jobs. But sometimes sit down, sit, sit down and ask yourself deep and meaningful questions. You know, what do I like? What do I love? What, in, what in, do I have interest in? What makes me happy? You know, what can I do to change my life so I am fully, fully happy? And, you know, every day sometimes we are happy. But I'm talking about deep down. I'm talking about deep down happiness. So sit down and, and ask yourself those deep and meaningful questions. Um... Well, I was going to say something else as well when I was talking about that. Um, but a good thing is to keep a journal. Keep a journal of um, what's going on in your life, some goals that you want to work towards. Like how, like even write down like the, your goal time, three months, two months, a year, five years. It's good to set goals. And, and this is what I wanted to say. It's some people in life, to, I'm not going to say it's sad. Sometimes I feel sad for them but it's some people that we all know that's been in life and they just been content on a job a, a certain job you know and some people really don't think outside of that box they really just say you know i'm gonna work i, I ain't even gonna lie it's somebody close to me y'all and i hear them say you know i'm gonna work i'm gonna lace up my boots and it's good that he's working. That's a good thing. We do need every, some people is workers. Some people is entrepreneurs. Some people is this. So he like, I'm gonna come home, eat my food, uh, watch TV, go to take my bath, go to bed, do it all over again, work, eat, um, take my bath, watch TV, go to bed. But like, God do want us to live abundantly, y'all. He want us to travel. He want us to experiment. He want us to take risks. He want us to do, you know, do the exceedingly. He want us to be successful. So you guys, and I don't know what it is. I know I'm all over the place guys, but I keep seeing 715, 751. And it was a girl. Um, she said, um, she, it was one day she, you know, on that exact, those, those days, uh, I'm sorry, those numbers, it added up on like July 15th. And she was like, she got her promotion. She got something big that happened in her life. So I'm hoping that's what's going to be for me, y'all. I'm hoping that I get something, some greater coming on 7.15 or 7.05 or um whatever. But I, I'm, I just keep seeing the number 751, 715 every day. Every day, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Two more things um, that I do want to talk about. So, self-experiment. All right, think about that. Self-experiment. Comment down below what you think self-experiment means. Or, um, comment down below some experiments you did with yourself. When you grew and you learned yourself. Self-experimenting to me, you know how they say, um, like, go date yourself. Like, you're going to be the best you when you learn how to be alone, when you accept yourself, your own time. Me, personally, I have to work towards this goal. I have never, like, went to the movies by myself, went out to eat by myself, anything like that. So... That's going to be my next goal. Um, so, 
self-experiment, learning yourself. Um, sometimes take yourself to the movies. A lot of times we'll say, Dad, I want to go see this new movie, but, you know, I call so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so don't have no money this week to go. Or um, so-and-so says she can't go. You go. You go. Take yourself. You are worth it. Learn how to date yourself. And that's what I'm going to do, too. We're going to do this together. Okay. Um, but different self-experiments. Y'all, you, it's try and error. You're going to try some things. Everything ain't going to work out. You're going to make mistakes. Okay, get up. Don't cry about it no more. Get up. It's a self-experiment. Oh, let me share a experiment, a self -ex or a risk that I did. And, um, that I did in the past few years. Um, and as you know, you know, but when I first came into education, I always wanted to be a kindergarten teacher. And, but I'm so proud of myself for doing it, y'all. To this day, it's not a regret, but if I knew, that's why it's called a risk. If I knew what I knew, I probably wouldn't have done it. But the thing is, the outcome of it, I know now. Like, I know that's not for me no more. So, I'm going to make it short. So, uh, I, was a high, I was teaching high school first. I loved early childhood. Loved it. All right? So, I said, it was my fifth year. I was like, okay, if I don't do it now, I'll never do it. So, I was like, let me go ahead and try kindergarten. I was going to be a kindergarten teacher. Tried it. It just didn't work. It was just a little too much for me. And so, I had to go back into high school. And of course, my spot wasn't going to be available. So, I ended up having to commute like an hour a day there, an hour a day back, you guys. And, it, you know, I just had to do what I had to do. And needless to say, I never got, you know, the chance to teach early childhood close to my house like I did before. But I'm okay. I made it. I'm still teaching high school. I'm still good, you know? So just don't go on fear. It might not happen, but it's okay. You go make it. God will not put more on you than you can bear. He will not leave you down here and forget about you. He's not going to do that. Okay? And if I'm talking to somebody that don't believe in God, that's how the universe work. As long as you get up, lace them boots up, put your brain together, and just go, go, go. You do your part. Everything will work itself out. My last part, you guys, because I know I'm talking and I'm chewing. I'm sorry. I I, I just want to try this little muck ba mukbang, mukbang. You know, talk with me, win and win, the type of thing. So if you don't, if you um, how you feel about, it, just comment down below, and I always listen to um my viewers. Okay. Um, understand your vitals. That's my last point. V I T A L S. Understand your vitals. I'm about to break them down. Understand your value. You are worth something. You are worth more than you know. You are. You gotta put you gotta put more into yourself. How's somebody gonna believe in you if you don't even believe in yourself? Okay, wake up. Wake up. You can do it. Come on. All right. Understanding your values. Understanding your in interests or interests, all right? What are you interested in? What makes you, when you do it, you happy? What is something that you like to do, and, and even if you're not getting paid for it, you like to do it? Find some, and write down five of them. Write down five. Maybe we're learning ourselves today. Another thing. So we have the V and the I. Understand your temperament. Temperament is, you know, am I an introvert? Am I ex um am, am I a person that um like to talk and spend time with others? Do I like uh, am I a person that um don't like other a lot of other people, big crowds? Am I a person that I, I'm I just like to stay to myself? Um know yourself. Certain situations come, know how you can gonna handle it so that you don't put yourself in certain situations. That will make you go outside of yourself. So that's learning, excuse me, learning your temperament. You got to learn your temperament. You got to know your temperament. 
and know what to avoid to um know what to avoid so it won't go outside of you you never want to go outside yourself um as far as temperament or embarrassing yourself or you know anything like that uh understanding your uh understanding around the clock activities going back to that situation where a person said oh i'm gonna go to work eat take my bath watch tv do it again go to bed no Find you some activities around the clock. Again, finding that interest. Finding some activities that you like around the clock and that you know you never know. Doing those activities may just put something in yourself and, and open, you know, it may open up you new ideas. And you never know what those um new ideas may lead you to. That they could be endless, you know. So just Again, understanding value, interest, temper, temperament, around the clock activities, understanding L, which is life mission. Uh, what's your life mission? Uh, what's uh, going back to your goals? What is your mission? What is your purpose here? And a lot of us, I ain't even gonna lie, it took me a while, and I'm still trying to learn what's my purpose. Why, like, why am I here? And that's why I pray, and I be like, God, use me. Like, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get up. How is it? I'm going to put my foot on the gas, but I need you to steer that wheel. That's what I need him to do. Because I'm still learning my purpose. I, I really want to reach um, self-actualization. I really do. And, I, and that's going to be my goal. I just want to just to be what I want to be, what he want me to be. And I know when it's that when I get to that point in my life. So understand life mission. And lastly, understand your strengths, okay? You need to know your strengths. Um, what are you good at? That's learning yourself. Some people really don't think outside this box, y'all. And they really don't know what they're good at. But I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to leave that for you to find out some strengths. Right now, start your journal today. What are some of your strengths? All right, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and eat this food. This is not the end of my vlog. Remember, this is a family vlog. Um, this is Winning Wednesday, and I will come to y'all in a bit. Say new hair. Hey, new hair. Hey, new hair. Hey, a new hair. Hey. Y'all feeling myself today. Don't mind me. I'm just messing with y'all. But um, but no, that's some real stuff though. If you look good, you feel good. So yesterday, y'all, uh, I did not vlog. Oh, trust me, I've been wanting to keep my promise up to myself first that I want to keep vlogging, and I did not vlog yesterday because I did a total of four hands. I think. Let me let me see. I know I did some um feet and braids and the side ponytail, I, and I'm gonna insert the pictures as I said. I did um. Um, retouches on edges for two box braid sets. I did a frontal. Y'all, I did a frontal. I was so proud of myself yesterday. I'm used to frontals on me and my mom, but for me to do it on somebody else, like, uh, you know, messing with glue and things like that, I really don't want to, but she requested it and she's one of my regulars. So I was like, yeah, why not? You know, uh, take risks. But I did uh, break down the steps and tell her how I was going to do it and how the glue wasn't going to get on her adhesive wasn't going to get on her real hair and things like that. So felt good about that. And then I did her daughter's hair. I did some more um, braids to the side with a little cute heart in the back. So, yeah, I worked hard yesterday, y'all. So that's why that's one of the reasons why I did not vlog. And then... Um, so I said today is going to be a whole brand new day because this is Winnie Wednesday. We're going to do this thing today. Now, you are winning. If you look around, your house is clean to the T, you winning. You winning. But if you like me right now, and it's some things that need to be put back in place. My Every time I say, Mom, I got to clean my house. Oh, my God, my house is I always say nasty. But Mom be like, your house is not nasty. Girl, you haven't seen no nasty house. Mom said um your stuff is out of place and she's right so what i'm about to do now i'm gonna take you all along with me you know i like to do clean with me's and why not i'm trying to motivate y'all i'm trying to get y'all look off that couch look around if it's things out of place let's do this we got this let's go <laughs> Thank you.
Look, she look at her what she did. That's why I know it's ready to get them. She ready to get uh potty trained. She said, "Mommy, come on, come on, change me." She went and got the wipes and the diapers by herself. Smarty pants. Why are you laying down? What you want me to do? What you want me to do? Land in the rocking chair. Yeah, land in the rocking chair. But what you want me to do? What you ready? Oh, it was la la. What la la waiting for? Lala, she, she want me to do what? And, and, fun, and fun train, and fun horse. All right, you talking about the other day? Have fun on the train, have fun on the horse. But what you want? What you want, mommy to do with this? What you want, mommy to do with this? Need diaper change. Oh, you need diaper change. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna keep cleaning.
y'all this is the real deal like this room you got to see but the thing about it is because i have my organizers you'll see it just helps so much thank you for whoever made those organized cubes because yes Oh, somebody at the door. Hey, y'all, look who came through. Hi. <laughs> but, y'all, okay, this is the room. Oh, MJ, look how happy they get when you more call y'all. Ain't been that happy all day. Look at her. Talk her head off. Oh, you are. Say Uncle Bud. okay. Y'all talk her head off. But, anyway. Trey over here is asleep, y'all. He just got back from school, taking his second test. Crossed my fingers. He has done a marvelous job. Uh, we'll get those results soon, but we're almost done. This is the last room that I'm going to do um, with my clean with me for today, okay? All right. All right, so while I'm in here cleaning up the twins room, remember from the last vlog I told y'all, I said, I'm going to show y'all what the twins did to their wall decal. Now, I was like, I won't mad because it was only $10 for Amazon, but I did put time in it. Like, it takes time to put every little piece. I would say it was like maybe six, 70 pieces, and you have to put like every leaf, it, uh, the monkey, the tail was... um not attached so you had to align the tail up the branches the trunk everything so i'm about to show you so you see they uh, y'all and uh, i tried to attach it back like i put that back but look how smooth and aligned that is up here they didn't touch this part like you can see there's no bubbles anything so so guys um my mom sent me some videos um of the twins doing some fun activities it was so cute y'all it was so cute the um second clip oh my god but i'm gonna share them within this vlog crazy ball where's yours landing oh there it is where's yours landing White and brown. Good job. Yay, I am bean. Good job. <laughs> what you working with, Lala? And then white. Good job. Awesome. another day to get you a break and i was like <laughs> like oh so happy um uh, so what i'm gonna am gonna do um before i do end this vlog um is i want to do a workout y'all know last time i worked on my arms so this time i want to work on probably my stomach and like do some squats that's what i'm gonna do this time so let's go let's go
so who am I to breath? Y'all, it was pretty intense. I'm not even going to lie. Let me turn the camera around. This is the one I did here. Okay, 10 minute beginner ad workout, no equipment. Pamela Reef, y'all. I'm telling you. Honey, even though the um workouts were a little like I was, you know, you just sitting down, the way you have to position your back and those planks and you it takes a lot from that core to just hold that position so you saw your girl drop a couple of times i can't help it y'all i'm, I'm told y'all i'm just starting now <laughs> i drop a couple of times but it's okay because i'm doing it and the more and more i do it remember these are like 10 minute workouts so the more and more i do i'll be better and better and better at it um it's just teaching me put that bread down put that Put that rice down, y'all messed up my hair, put all that stuff down and start, you know, eating more healthy and trying to get more mobile. And then the more and more I do this, I won't be so out of breath. But next, I'm going to do some um, butt workouts. All right. Okay, y'all. Woo! Intense, intense, intense. So, but one thing I did learn I wanted to share. If you do try some of these workouts, one thing that helped a lot, she said, try to keep your weight in your heel. And I don't know where I was keeping my weight at. But when she told me that and I did that instantly, honey, it felt so much better. Um, but if you do that... This workout was only five minutes because it's pretty intense, um, especially for a beginner. Um, so, <clears throat> you see me like rocking it out or jumping it out, that helps a lot. So, you already know what I'm about to do, show you um, what video I did watch. So, right here, fitnessblender.com. But this is on YouTube. So five minute butt and thigh workout for a bigger butt and fitness blender. And she is right here. Um, it's pretty effective. Now, if you did, uh, since it's five minutes, the more and more that I do it and um, becomes more, com and I become more comfortable with it or, you know, um, what I will do is just run it like three times and try to do it more and more each and every day. But yeah, I'm not gonna hold you all long. Like I said, now I'm here um, with just me and Trey. The twins are gone. So I'm about to go ahead, watch, probably watch some YouTube. And then I am going to um, start editing this vlog. So it'll go ahead and be out. And don't forget, you, you guys, um, share with me some ideas you would like. For us to do um also subscribe and also give me you know thumbs up and comments um and i'll reach back out to you so i enjoyed you all today and until next time